Ja, und damit sage ich wieder Hallo und ein herzliches Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge The Council. Wir sind mittlerweile bei Folge 21 und auf dem Weg zur nächsten Zusammenkunft aller Gäste hier. Ähm, wir müssen die Gelegenheit nutzen und dabei noch das eine oder andere rausfinden. Ja, ich weiß, das habe ich soweit mitgekriegt. Aber ich wollte eigentlich nicht den direktesten Weg nehmen. Aber scheinbar bleibt uns hier keine andere Wahl. Das heißt, wir suchen jetzt gerade mal da vorne. Müsste, glaube ich, die Treppe gewesen sein, wenn ich das richtig im Kopf habe. Genau. Und dann schauen wir mal, was uns unten erwartet. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I... sadly, no. Even if I'd like to have I... Alas. There are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, Her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Ja, so könnte man das auch sagen, wenn sie, wenn sie erschossen hat. Ähm. <lacht> Aber vielleicht sollten wir da gegenüber... They kept up a secret correspondence, which ehrlich sein. Ich denke, sie waren suspicious of someone. Und did you find out who it was? No, but von Volner is mentioned. They were planning to make a quick getaway and were looking to hide something beforehand. Have you got these messages? Yes. Go ahead, take a look. I see. I must say, uh, thanks for your honesty, Louis. Should I speak to her about my vision? What I saw is true. She might want to take revenge. Ja, ich würde ja fast dazu tendieren, jetzt hier bei der Wahrheit zu bleiben. Auch wenn sie mir auch ein bisschen suspekt ist, aber von allen Beteiligten noch am unsuspektesten. Falls es dieses Wort überhaupt gibt. Aber ihr wisst schon, was ich meine. Emily, there's something else. Go on then. It's, it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but... It's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Okay. Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. You're very kind. It means a lot to me. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. We'll speak about it later, somewhere safe. Ja, da drin geht es jedenfalls schon voll ab, wie man so im Hintergrund hört. Und ich habe so das Gefühl, dass da unser lieber Franzose wieder mit beteiligt ist. Du wirst dich sehr gut sein, Peru. Ich bin sicher, dass du irgendwo in der Lage warst. Das ist richtig. Pretend, dass du es nicht weißt. Eine kleine Frage von Advice. Nicht durch Frankreich auf deinem Weg zurück. Oder es wird dir sehr viel kosten. Komm, jetzt, meine Freunde. Lass uns uns ruhig kommen. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. Ach ja, stimmt, wir haben ja noch den... Uh, Who is this charming character? Manuel Godoy, the Godoy, Duke genau. of so he's a He's the head of the Spanish government, Monsieur de Richer. He's the one who, in practice, controls Spain. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? 
What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if it could... Oh, no, it's not God. God. It's Paul. Hmm. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Okay, was macht man da? Am besten erstmal diplomatisch verhandeln, würde ich sagen. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maurras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. So, jetzt verteilen die sich großflächig und ich soll da wahrscheinlich am besten mit allen reden. Das wird lustig. Could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her? Maybe. Ähm, was machen wir denn da? Ablenkung ist vielleicht gar nicht so schlecht da. Mit kennen wir uns eigentlich Why? aus. Is there something you particularly wanted from her? I ja, oder wir gehen mit der Tür ins Haus. No, not specially. My questions made him feel uneasy, but he's keeping his emotions under control. Your mother and I used to often speak together. I have rarely met someone so learned. To tell you the truth, I was about to make a deal with her. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? Was machen wir denn da jetzt? Psychotopie. Cat's out of the bag now. More or less, but please do do refresh my memory. Yes, of course. Uh, nothing of great importance in itself. During one of our discussions, she spoke of an old book which might have been of interest to me, and she had agreed to let me have it. A book about what? Ancient occultism. As you are aware, I am a doctor of theology. You might have come across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? Okay, offensichtlich weiß jeder über das Buch Bescheid, also wir. Das ist ja schon mal ganz toll. The least one can say is that he doesn't beat around the bush. Psychologisieren wir weiter mal ein bisschen weiter rum. 
What does the one you're looking for look like exactly? It resembles a grimoire. It's divided into seven parts, each one individually locked. It was made in such a way that if someone tried to tamper with it, the sheets would be permanently tarnished. It's a unique copy. There's only one. The mere mention of it makes his face light up. Well, I'll take a closer look, but I can't promise you anything. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's, uh, it's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von Borchert in Paris. Do you know him? Hmm. Let's this problem. Indeed. One of your close friends? Uh, no, not really, but we were close once. Precisely over the case that concerns us now. Because he claimed to have the book I'm looking for. Another dishonest person. What can you say? Can't trust anyone these days, huh? No. No. You can't. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Volner. And that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh, and so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We both know what you're looking for, Von Volner. You're the one who Von Birchert was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richet. You are playing a dangerous game. Please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. Uh, wahrscheinlich ist es der König, aber... Lord Mortimer. Oh, you are way off the mark. There's nothing more for us to say. Goodbye. Ja, ja, servus. Das hat uns jetzt erstmal so nicht wirklich weitergeholfen, außer dass er auch mit diesem Buch zu tun hat. Und das offensichtlich zum Tod von der Schwester geführt hat und dem unsere Mutter schuld ist, sofern die Visionen stimmen, was jetzt auch nicht wirklich ein hundertprozentiges Indiz ist, auf das wir aufbauen können. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Uh, schauen wir uns hier mal noch ein bisschen um. Als nächstes steht dann wohl der Napoleon oh, auf der Liste. Den habe ich da schon oh, im Hintergrund rum gammeln sehen. Hier drin ist jedenfalls jede Menge Gold Elixir, was uns aber auch gerade nicht wirklich weiterhilft. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Hier haben wir auch nicht großartig irgendwas. Da geht's dann wieder. Ne, da geht's nicht einmal raus. Das heißt, wir sind also noch nicht fertig. Achso, ne, wir müssen ja nach links raus. Aber. Wie gesagt, erst sollte man es vielleicht noch den guten Napoleon vornehmen. Ähm, da würde ich aber fast sagen, dass wir das in der nächsten Folge machen. Schauen wir hier noch am Kamin entlang und schnappen uns hier die Münze. Und dann sage ich schon mal danke fürs Zuschauen. Wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal und befragen Napoleon. Bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.